Okay. I'm good. What's the mic doing? The mic's having a conniption. What? No, I'm good. We good. Hello, everyone. Got there. Test. This is the test. This is our test. Good. Does that sound alright? It's windy as fuck. Yeet. Good. Good. Perfect. Okay, Ladoke. I'm doing roast chicken with verjuice and garlic. Some roast veggies and some golden <coughs> syrup dumplings. Please hold. Hey, Mazen. And back. Okay, chicken. Let's get this chicken in the oven. Oh, I need a lemon. Black sauce, hello. Lemon. Okay. Needs to be washed. It's a bit sticky. Where did I put my phone? Hang on. Okay, we're good, we're good. All right, so lemon I'm going to cut in half. Check my cavity, good. Okay, I'm going to squeeze this juice in here. Okay, some rosemary I picked from my garden. Can go in the hole.
kooky. I'm actually doing a garlic and verjuice roast chicken. I do apologize. Okay, olive oil. Close though. I, I, I will do that recipe though, I promise, I will. Okay, so olive oil over the chicken. Like sure. The doggo is barking. How's Tuesday? Tuesday was alright. Can't complain. Some salt. I know. I got it on sale for like ten bucks. Marble. It's really cool. What did me and dad want for Christmas? <laughs> That's a good question, actually. I don't even know what I want for Christmas. Pepper. I'm gonna massage this in a little. Nothing spends you to get us all. You don't need to get us anything. You show us love already. That's enough. <gasps> and add some more now that I've rubbed it in a little. easier yeah that's more than enough I'm just going to sprinkle the top with a bit of herbs de Provence just because it tastes really good with chicken it makes the skin really tasty Yep, I'm shaking it, nothing's coming out. Sick. Okay. We Gucci. Oh, yeah. Abby, thank you for the follow. Okay. Oh. What am I missing? Nothing. I'm going to cover the breast. <laughs> Add a bunch of random herbs and hope it's okay. And don't be like SWP and, you know, oh, yeah. checking everything for uh, not being cooked properly. Lee Jen, thank you for the follow. Free <laughs> reader, can you buy me something for Christmas? <laughs> yeah, you can buy your sub. <laughs> Subs for everyone. Okay, foil. Hello. Red sun sticker. Lil. Covered and it's going in the oven at 200 degrees. And I'm going to get my veggies. Oh, yeah. Skagzilla, thank you for the follow. How about a shoe knife? Shun knife? Shun knife? Beans. Yeah, beans, yeah, yeah. Um, what was I doing? 40 minutes. 
Kinda. Don't let me forget to put timers on things. I get distracted easy when it comes to chat and food. Okay, veggies. potatoes in here. That's all good. You can troll away. Just make sure you tell me before you start trolling. You showered like five minutes ago. Giggity. <laughs> okay, um, I'm going to cut these into squares. Ish. Probably watching you walk through the window while you shower. Mm, that's probably enough, but mm, mm, it's enough. Let's mix these around in my oil. Should be nice and coated. Xbox. Xbox. So Apex. I haven't loaded into Apex X. Uh, Apex yet, but they've got some cool new skins I am aware of. Some holiday skins. Okay, going to salt and pepper. Number one, Apex. I haven't played Apex in ages. I should play some. Have I finished Fallen Order? Yeah, I finished yesterday. You missed out. Bro, I was so excited when I finished. I'm spending some rosemary on these. To go with the rosemary rosemary theme. It was a good ending. Your shit on controller. Alright, going in the oven with my chicken. It was not horrible, you troll. That's done. Hey, I got it in the fourth go. It was fine. Okay. I'm gonna prepare the pumpkin. Where I rage quit. Yeah, but I was also very tired when I did that. Come on. And I was angry. Fun fact with pumpkin. If you don't need to use the whole thing, don't use the side with the seeds first. It'll keep longer if you keep the seeds in it. I rage quiet. Yes, I quietly raged philosophy. Hello. 
this? Oh, this is a butternut pumpkin. That's why it's not as orange. I don't like the skin on my pumpkin, so I always take it off. The skin. Actually, most pumpkins are actually green, the skin. Nay Panda, thank you so much for the host. How you doing? America lied to us. Hey, America has orange cheese. What are you talking about? I'm gonna keep this quite big because I want it to cook slowly in the oven. So I'm just gonna cut it into four. And I'll put that in my chicken. That'll do. You're chill? Nice. Today's actually Tuesday. Yeah. I'm in the future. Let's put this in the bin. Let's show. Okay, my sugar snack please. It's 2.15 a.m. Ooh, it's 6.15 p.m. here. Go go. You're saving my points to make me pick up the words. Do you like them? <laughs> Good boy treats. Oh, look. I said his name and he appears. Oh, there we go. You can see him. No, you're darling. Not for you. Yeah, I did save you. You can do it. You can use it for Ivy now. Hey, Lulu. <laughs> He's like, there is food here. I want some. Little doggy. Little doggy. He is. Look at him. He wants it so badly. No, you can't have it. Yeah. <sighs> Absolutely. He's not going to want beans. Oh, I will eat some of these because I love sugar snap peas. Let me go. You're not a. Uh, Am I ready? It's never camera ready. So I'm just gonna pull the little spiny bit, whatever the technical term is it of, is out, is of earth. Uh, Hey 
Francis. How you doing? Ivy. I'll just put my chicken in the oven. I have to sit and chat with you guys for a bit while our uh, chicken cooks. She says squirrel. I wish we had squirrels here, but we don't. They're kind of cute. Mine's in the kind of a pest, but uh, so cute. I have snakes, yeah. No snakes. Yeah. There's actually there's a bush turkey in the next door neighbor's yard. And geese. Yep. Whatever I'm making, you want to try it out, but food is great. Food is good. Bad, good food. Geese. Mwah, mwah. And the geese are funny. I actually said wallaby. Um, we've actually had big kangaroos here and wallabies. There used to be a couple of really big reds. We used to hang around in the paddock down the bottom there. But I haven't seen them for a while. Oh, they're all here. Could be a koala. It's probably just a mailman, to be honest. It's a bit late, though. She doesn't like anyone stopping outside my house. Hey, canary. What am I making? We're doing roast chick, roast chick, roast chick, roast chook with garlic and verjuice. If you don't know what verjuice is, it's this. It's basically um, grapes without the alcohol in it. Um, really nice, light flavor. Virgin juice. <laughs> But yeah, basically, yeah, it's, how do I put it? It's like um, a byproduct of making wine that they didn't use. And someone started using it in cooking and was like, oh, it's actually really good. So they started marketing it. Um, but yeah, it's quite nice. Philosophy sweat. Oh my. We love Australia. Everything here is trying to kill you. It's great. I'm also doing golden syrup dumplings, which are amazing. They're so good. Okay, that's done. Yeah. I hope if you don't know what golden syrup dumplings are. Okay, does anyone else in chat know what golden syrup dumplings are? Please enlighten me. Canary dropping a sub. Six months. Holy shit. Thanks, buddy. Six months. The zinga. Oh, yeah. Hey, look, you got the little first founder badge on. Aww. Australia's your dream place. Dreams turn into nightmares pretty quick. Well. New Zealand is the same, but no deadly animals. Yeah, New Zealand is a pretty place. I like New Zealand. Your favorite day of the week, food. Hey, Ella, how you doing? The women are nice. <laughs> How's everyone doing tonight in chat? And legit, the animals are not trying to kill you as well. And they actually like it. <laughs> Giggity. Do 
New Zealand's really pretty. I like the South Island. Everything Australia bites, actual. Ticks, snakes, mosquitoes, random animals, anything in the ocean, anything on land. <laughs> You buy back. <laughs> Lel. <laughs> Kiki's throwing shade. You want to get into scuba, but like sharks? Bro, okay, look, there's like one thing that I'm scared of, and it's sharks. I mean, I've been swimming with sharks before, but. No nah, man, if they want to eat you, you're dead. Like that's it. It's game over. It's actual game over. You can't outswim them. You can't run away. You can't hide from them. Like you're fucked. <laughs> yeah, nah. I threw a shape when I dropped my pants from your huge thighs. <laughs> I've, I've, got, I've got nothing here. I got nothing. I could definitely outswim a shark. Bro, have you seen the sharks here? I've seen you naked. Hey, philosophy, you've been creeping through his window again. You saw my toes in the park. <laughs> toes in the bath. You're getting that, uh, that foot fetish going on there. Philosophy. Hey, you open the snap. What are you talking about? Gets in the bath fully clothed, sends a pic. Do it. Right. Oh. No one wants to see that. Creighton, how you doing? Dog goes outside. Be right back here, running the path. Lil. What are you doing, puppy? Expect to be let in. Yeah. How hyped are we for the rise of the Jedi? Pie Walker. The rise of the Jedi Pie Walker. Lil, I don't know what that is, but I don't want to see it. Turned the water into slime. That kind of sounds bizarre, but I want to try it too. Okay, bye doggy. Well, I could probably get started on my golden syrup dumplings because they do take a little bit of time. Not too much time though, but I can do stuff, I guess. Instead of chatting, I can chat and do it at the same time. All right, hang on. Let me wash my hands again. Hello, doggy. Go bullying your boyfriend. I could throw things at him. See if he notices. See if my aim's good. It's real nice. <gasps> <laughs> Washing hands like someone's gonna say, <laughs> Twitch just one touch a dog and then made a dumpling. Yeah. I don't know whether she rolled in her own poo or not. Cleanliness. Some guy at Twitch reading that report message. <laughs> well, hmm. I don't know what to do about that one. Blasphemy. Okay, go on to the others. I need my recipe book because I haven't made these in ages. 
Right, I need some self-raising flour. Lol, what? Okay, before you ask, it's in a Ziploc bag because we had weird ants here at one stage and they were eating my flour. Don't ask me why, they're weird. First toilet paper, now the flour. You're gonna play some page movie before bed. Nice. I might play some later. Not stream though, but I'll play some later. You'll probably be asleep by then. All right. Butter, golden syrup. Let's see if I've got enough in here. Syrup and milk, but I don't need that just yet. You're making those kebabs next week? Bro, do it. They're so good. My trusty scale. All right, what do I need? I need 30 grams of butter. That is exactly 30 grams. I'm not even joking. What are the chances? Like to the point. Gotta find a bakery that carries jalapeno sourdough. Just normal sourdough work. Just put some jalapenos on the end of it. Okay, and I need one and a quarter cups of self-raising flour. process here is rubbing the butter through the flour. It's time consuming as all hell, but it makes it really crumbly. So this motion rubs it through. There is a way you can do it with a food processor, but I'm just going to do it old school. Bro, stop, don't pick up Ivy. I've got, eh, eh, what bad timing. I'll make philosophy do it. Philosophy, stop, don't pick up Ivy. <laughs> Bring Ivy to me now. <laughs> You're spending those doggo treats. Coming, coming. <laughs> Hi, baby girl. What you doing? What you doing? Hello, gorgeous. She is a gorgeous dog. <laughs> hey, Raz. How you doing? Look at that puppy. You mean SWP, but same thing. Fair enough. Shit. Bro, watch out the camera. So I'm legit just rubbing hmm. flour and the butter together. I sorted out the pixelated issue. Fuck off. It's crystal clear? Yes, yeah, wait. I think I fixed it. I think my settings on my um, 
OBS were just not up to standard. Jonesy, thank you for the host. How you doing? Bro, can you not put my slipper on the place where I put food? You fork. Thank you. Put it back on my foot. <laughs> it's getting there. I'm just legit scrunching the butter through. Um, it just makes it a buttery, flowery mixture. I'm good. Philosophy's good. He just burped over in the corridor. Kind of gross. You know what he's like. I'm spilling flour. It's a bit hard on the old arms after a while. You can see him walk around the flexion of the splash pack. Yeah, he's gone down the end now. Okay, I think I've got pretty much. What did you find to eat, Missy Moo? There's nothing on the floor. What am I making today? We are doing roast chicken with garlic and verjuice um, and golden syrup dumplings. Tell me chat, do you guys know what golden syrup dumplings are? I'm just doing the, the mix for the golden syrup dumplings. Yeah, virgin juice apparently. Technically, you could call it virgin juice because it's unfermented wine. Dumplings with golden syrup. Yeah, has anyone had them before? Because I feel like it's uh, not a very common thing. Because philosophy didn't know what it was. Alright. So now that butter is all nicely mixed through. Gotten all the lumps of butter out. Hey, Disco, how you doing? All right, we're good. So it's all mixed in nicely now. Okay, now I just want to mix in my golden syrup and some milk. I'm doing good. Milk. Should I use this one or should I use the other one? Not that much in there. I may as well use it up. Third of a cup. Quite a lot lighter. This one than the one I normally use. Where we see the finished product. Um, I can post a photo in Discord if you like. If you want to see it. And a third of a cup of milk as well. Okay, let's mix this in. Mm. 
making a nice batter here. So the important thing with golden syrup dumplings is you can't overwork them. Because if you overwork them, they will just turn out tough. So they've got to be quite delicate and soft. Looking pretty good. Now, it looks like it doesn't make that much, yeah, like so, but they're very rich. So easy to overindulge in these. Yum. Mmm, so good. Today was super busy. You did 16 hours. Damn, son, make that money. Canary dropping the hype. I think I've got the other arm. Yeah, I had batter on my lip. So. Oh no, I got the left one as well. Damn it. I need the right one. I need the right arm. Okay, so now with this, it goes, it's cooked in a sauce. So essentially, it's sort of uh, steamed in a sauce. Um, I like to do it in my lacousset, but it can, uh, can boil a little. 16 hour days, but a vacay in two days. Yeah. Christmas holiday. La Cousa, La Cousette. It's French. This. So it's a cast iron. Cast iron enamel. It's enamel. La Cousette. Um, you can do it in a normal saucepan. Totally fine. Um, you can do it in a pan as well. You just got to make sure you have a lid. All right, Jonesy. Have a good one. Thank you for stopping by and thank you for the host. No vacation for me. Christmas is the busiest time I work. Yeah, they used to be the same for me. I used to only have a Christmas day off and I have to work Boxing Day. It just feels bad. So with this one. Now, for the sauce, I need butter, which I put in the fridge already. Yep, chop the fridge. And the milk can go back in the fridge. That. Oop. Brown sugar. 
we'll make some space here. You're working 18 hours on Christmas Day, time and a half though, so I'll be insane money. 5 a.m. to 10 p.m. Oh, just think of that money at the end of that day. Still. I hope you have the next day off. Right, I need 30 grams. There's the 50 mark. I'll just cut it just before. Oh, yeah. Hello, thank you for the follow. See if I got close. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Hang on, didn't register. So. Let's zero that. Bro, what's wrong with this thing? Oh, it's not flat, that's why. Lel, zero. Thirty-four, that's okay. That in there. Okay, I also need three quarters of a cup of brown sugar, firmly packed. I need a new measurer. Do three quarters of a cup there. You push it down so it's flat. So that's two thirds. A little bit too much. Let's take a little bit out. We good? Put that in. Put this away. I don't need this anymore. Okay, and then ooh, I dropped some sugar. Up. I remember as a kid, always. Eating the lumps of brown sugar. So delicious. Alright. Golden syrup. I need half a cup. Wrong side. Half a cup. And straight in. Scrape this out a little. Welcome back, Nate. Mm. Golden syrup. Okay, let's grab a spatula. So let's scrape this out. What am I making? I'm doing roast chicken and roast veggies and then golden syrup dumplings. Okay, that's that. And then I also need one and two thirds cup of water. It's one cup. And two thirds. There, let's give this a little stir. And then we're gonna put it on the stove. Oh, G. 
chicken's beeping. done now um, is taking the foil off the breast Okay, so I've just taken the foil off the breast and moved it to the thighs. It's looking good. Um, and I'll cook it for another uh, 30 minutes. 30? 20. What's the best Aussie cuisine? We don't really have any. Like really. Um, Cause we're such a multicultural country. We have a lot of food that comes from other cultures really. HSP, lol. You're Aussie and you don't know what that is. Um, HSP isn't that chips and meat? Yeah, you get it from the kebab shop. <laughs> it's not even Aussie. <laughs> it's from the kebab shop. Um, I've seen them, but I've never had one. That eagle's actually going off out there. What is it doing? Have I eaten kangaroo? Yes, I have. It's quite a lean meat. Um, Quite tasty. It's very good for people um, not wanting lots of fat from, they want a lean diet basically. They want bodybuilders and stuff and gym people will eat kangaroo. I've actually eaten crocodile. Um, yeah, kangaroo's not bad. It's just, it's very easy to overcook because it's got no fat to it. I'm just getting the skin off this garlic. Um, and I've had emu as well. So I've basically eaten the Australian flag. <laughs> you know what I mean? When it's overcooked, it's tough. Yeah. You have to eat it pretty much rare medium. Um, can be quite good, but you can get it um, quite regular, quite regularly. It's quite easy to get here now. Years ago, it used to be hard to get because no one wanted to eat it, but now everyone eats it. What else could be considered Aussie? 
meat pie, not really. Technically now, I guess, it considered a Aussie delicacy. Um, get off today. Bacon salt. I actually never tried bacon salt. I like after this. Okay. Look, just you can just blend that then fine. Oh. It was that one too. The one I couldn't get the skin off, it fell in the oven. Okay, let me just clean this down a little and I'll get started on the dumplings. And by started, I mean cooking. I'm also going to put some water on because I'm going to blanch my sugar snap peas. Those ones. Flat up in my face. A little bit of salt in my water to boil. Dumplings are your speciality. Ooh, have you tried golden syrup dumplings before? Technically, you consider them similar to a scone sort of texture cooked in a, the sauce. Playing arena in Fortnite to get contender to play cash cup tomorrow. Ooh, I want to do that disco. I've been playing like rubbish lately. Chicken or squirrel, maybe even rabbit. Rabbit. I've made a rabbit bolognese before. It's pretty good. Someone in the background's like, that's terrible. You haven't tried them? Ooh, yeah, they're good. They're good. Okay, let's get this. Uh, so it's <clears throat> you'll enable two FA like an hour ago. Ooh. So I'm just going to melt the butter and the sugar that I put in the casserole dish on the stove slowly. Just over a low heat, because I don't want it to uh, boil just yet. Put this away. Looking good. Baconator, how you doing, Baconator? Cook me a masterpiece, always. Hi. Ow, I just totally whacked my chandelier that's above me. Ah, probably heard a jingle. 
I almost got the sharpest end of that, Jesus. I did. We are looking Gucci. You about to go to night shift? Oh. You have one of them? Yeah. I got gifted a sub. Talking about chickens all day. Let me wipe this bench down. The only thing I haven't done yet. Go there. That boils. It's always the way, isn't it? It's like I really want to support you, but I have no money. I'm gonna get ready to carve my uh carve my chicken. Thought I'd come in for a quick carve before I had to work. Nice. Stopping by. Played some uh DVD yesterday. It was hilarious. Doing a Jenny, hear him come up behind me, turn around to run away, and look, I run smack bang into him. Fucking the funniest thing. It scared the absolute shit out of me. It was great though. Oh, I dropped some. I dropped some paper. Planning for this butter to melt. I miss what was said. Probably follow more Aussies than any other country. Yeah, we seem to be everywhere. We legit go on holidays and everyone's a buddy Aussie. Even made friends with home, yeah, we're pretty easy going. Bedtime for me, it was good to chill with you for a bit. I'll check Discord tomorrow. Sounds good. You played Mario Kart? Yes. I love Mario Kart. Gonna go Friday Arena, hope it can go as well. <laughs> gonna go, oh, gonna go Grand Arena. All right, Disco, good luck. Good night, Kiki. Should get my uh my little doggo cam and put it up here so you can see over my stove what I'm doing. How long has chicken got? Chicken's got eight minutes. My butter is all boiled, or boiled, all melted. There's my recipe gone. This. Uh, bring to a boil without stirring and reduce to a simmer. Guys, how you doing? Uh, 
it up slightly. And got my dumpling mix here. So what we do, once the um, syrup has boiled and reduced slightly, um, all I do is I drop a tablespoon of the dumpling into the mixture, cover it with a lid and let it cook for 20 minutes. Really easy. Um, so once that's ready, I'll, put, I'll do that. What are we cooking today? We're doing roast chicken with roast vegetables and golden syrup dumplings. Delicious. We good. So all I've done there is, ow, <laughs> I just whack myself, is just turn the grill on a little just to crisp the skin up on the top so it's nice and golden. Nice and golden. Um, Celsius. Oh, I just totally ripped that in half. I got Okay, so my syrup is nice and boiling now. I'm just going to grab some more alpha oil. my chicken warm while I rest it until it comes out. Okay, I'm going to do these dumplings now. Okay, so a tablespoon of mixture into the sauce.
So, you do like my kitchen? I like my kitchen too. But pride and joy. Um, so it's very important with the dumplings not to overhandle them because they'll go tough. So you got to very gently do it and try not to squish them. Just let them do their thing. So 20 minutes on a simmer with the lid on. Try and space them out as much as you can because they will um, rise. I did. I finished it yesterday. I finished full in order yesterday. It was good. Just check on them every now and again. Make sure they're not burning on the bottom. They shouldn't if it's down low enough. Yeah, I'm just eating raw mix, but oh well. Mm. When they're like this, it sort of tastes like gingerbread. Just chuck my uh, snow peas into blanche. there a couple more minutes I'll just check the uh, temperature of that chicken Okay, looking good. Get some plates out. Alright, so all I have to do is make my jus out of the juices from the chicken. Um, so I'll need to get my the jus. And some chicken stock.
breast just needs a little bit longer. Couple more minutes for chicken. Check on these dumplings. Oh. They look good, they're starting to swell, absorbing all that lovely golden syrup. Okay. So all I've done there is just chuck some my alcohol flying away. Chicken stock in the pan just to reduce a little. Can you stop flying away please? While we wait for our chicken. Express. Thank you for the follow. How you doing? We're getting to the uh, the pointy end now. So bear with me. Got my plates ready. Just waiting on this chicken. We've got some beer. fridge once you open it. Orbital, how you doing? Okay. I'm going to take my chicken out now and let it rest. It looks good. for a moment.
Okay, now I need the juice out of this pan. into my saucepans on the stove. Let's cover this bad boy up. Let it rest. Okay. I like it. That's well. Oh, dumplings are looking good. Okay, eight minutes left in the dumplings. Letting my jus boil a little. Sorry, Lou. I didn't mean to terrify you then. You poor soul. Added my vejus. Now I want my, my jus to be a little bit thicker, so I'm just going to add some corn flour. Just a little bit, not too much. So cool, thank you so much. Overall, all right. Pro tip with the cornflour always mix it in with some water that way you don't get no lumps and dump it straight into your pot mix. Bring it to the boil and cook the corn flour out. Gives it resting nicely. Perfect. Tastes delicious. Yeah, if you gift any um, subs or subscribe, you get a uh, holiday sub. So, yeah, which is really cool. Sort of like a holiday thing from Twitch that they're doing. Like this one. Or this one. And that's the one I just got. <laughs> turn that off. I'm going to strain this out. Oh, I totally spilled that. Good. 
Can't waste all that good stuff. Um. Okay, so we've got our greens on the plate. Like so. Our roast veggies. Wow, that's good. Get out of the way so you can see. Potatoes. Oh. Hey, crab. What's cooking? Roast chicken and roast veggies. And I totally spilled that again. Um, and golden syrup dumplings. Oh. All right, so there's my chicken. I'm resting for a little bit. All right, now, there is a really easy way to carve chicken. So you don't get dry pieces and moist pieces. So the easiest way to do it, you carve down the middle. Yeah, that's actually like so. That's not a half bad idea. And cut yeah, off yeah, the yeah. breast. Yeah. Right now, very okay. hot. Yeah. I'm trying my best. <laughs> Like so. Putting my fingers in the process. Right. Cut the breast off. Then slice it. So this is actually how I carve my turkey for Christmas time. Trying to keep the skin on there. So that way everyone gets nice moist pieces. No, so when you when you carve a chicken, if you're doing it for like for dinner for like big group and you carve it into thin slices. Some people will get the outer layers which are cooked more than the inner layers. So if you carve it this way, everyone gets sort of a cross section. Like so. So everyone gets nice moist, moist bits of chicken. And no one's left with just the top bit. Okay. So there's my chicken on the plate. And I'm going to pour, well, I'm going to scoop bit of this jus over the top. So. Uh, I'll cut off this other one. Garlic on top. Oh, hang on, dumplings are done. Wet cloth. Perfect. Right. Okay. Well, we have our chicken. Let me just cut this one off. I can eat it. Look 
let it cool for a bit longer, but you know, I'm hungry. You never see me do this. <laughs> Welcome. Go. Okay. I'm just gonna cut it thickly. Like so. In. bad boy over here because I'm making an absolute mess because it's juicy as fork ah! yep I may have I may have spilled some okay put some jus on top of this one as well there we go Okay, well, that's our dinner part done. Let's wipe this down because this chicken juice went legit <gasps> everywhere and on my mouse. Chicken juice everywhere! You're hungry again? <laughs> Perfect, it worked. Dumplings look absolutely delicious. Okay, and that can just go there for now. There we go. Have a look at these bad boys. So see how they swell up? Nice and fluffy. So these in a bowl. Like so. Two is plenty, trust me. Make sure you get plenty of that sauce in there as well. Like so. Totally spilled that on the edge of that bowl, but oh well. Keep that warm. There you go. Go on, tip dumb things. Hard to see. You get the idea. Basically, puffy clouds of golden syrupy goodness. Can I have a plate? Of course. Right, well, I'm going to try some of this chicken. Mmm. Um, Someone hungry over there? No? Not hungry? Sure. There you go. Ta da! I said yes, man. I was talking chat though. That is a good chicken. Who's not hungry? Dig in. Dig in, chat. Please help yourself. Mm. So chicken has a very subtle, lemony and garlicky taste to it. That's good. Potatoes.
roast pumpkin. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And dumplings. So I find with golden syrup dumplings, you need cream with it. Um, double cream works the best, but I don't have any because I forgot. So normal cream will suffice. Little drizzle on top. You you will go back for more. It's nice and fluffy on the inside. Mm. Oh my god. They're actually amazing. They're so soft and fluffy. Let's see if I can show you this. See? Pillowy soft they are. It's very important not to over overhandle them. Be as delicate as you can. It makes all the difference. They're actually per they're actually perfect. Perfect. Mm. Good. Are you coming over? Or are you just sitting there? Good chat. I need my official taste tester. You ain't got to ask me twice. <laughs> this kind of portion serve in my life. It doesn't exist. Yeah. I like food too much. I always put too much out. Mm. I will have some more jus. I could have made it a little bit thicker, but it'll do. What's up? Would you like to taste some? Yes. Yeah. How's that chicken? Very good. Very good. Now for the creme de la creme. Yes. Like oh, that's dessert. Good. Very. Very good. Mm-hmm. There we go. Have it. We have it, chat. Golden syrup dumplings are a winner. All right. Well, thanks everyone for uh, sticking around and uh, watching me cook dinner. I hope you've enjoyed tonight's stream and I hope you've uh, learned something at least. Um, tomorrow will be Star Wars stream. Maybe dress up. I'll see how I go. But uh, Rise of Skywalker midnight premiere I will be going to tomorrow. So we will be streaming. Bro, I get so loud. We will be streaming some Star Wars till about probably 11 p.m. We'll see how we go. And yeah, well, I gotta go to the movie. So yeah, thank you guys. And hope you all have enjoyed. Next Tuesday will be the special Christmas stream. Make sure you tune in and don't miss out on that one. Um, everything Christmas related, I'll be preparing on Christmas Eve. And I'll be drinking some eggnog. Winning. All right. Good night, guys. I hope you've enjoyed. Catch you soon. Good night, Nate. Bye.